All right, so we're gonna go through teardown of a small electric motor. This is gonna be something you'll get out of something that you're taking apart. Um, it'll come out looking normally like this, whether it be a drill, paper shredder, um, whatever, anything that might have an electric motor in it. If you wanna tear it down, this will be the video for you. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. All right, so this is where your brushes will be. You can probably see the black ring around it. So as it spins, it makes contact with different, I'm gonna say prongs, um, to keep that motor running like it's supposed to. So I like to take the brushes out because I wanna try to test those and see how much silver I can get out of them at some point. You've got your windings here, and then you got your center like stator and it looks like it also has windings. So normally here at the back, there's gonna be some screws you can take out. Normally these are pretty simple. And I say normally, but because I said that, this thing probably will be like next week before I get it apart. And stuff is just starting to fall apart. All right, so here's your stator. You can see your copper tabs up here you can peel off. You've got your windings down here that you can pull out. Uh, these normally go as heavy metal, not shred, the higher class. After you take off what you want, we've got this piece. Oh, it's not brass. We have this. Quite often these are brass. So if you can find something you can get down inside of it with, which is normally easier if you're using a vise. I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Y'all hold on for the ride. pressed in. That one was pressed in. So I just drove that out of there. Look at this. And it is not brass. So it can go down. It can go down. It can go down uh, wherever else so you also got one on the other side that one doesn't even look like it's brass so i'm not even gonna mess with that but you can see your your uh things here and let's see what the easiest way to get these out would be most of the time it's a screw that holds that in but not always so that's a little copper clip as you can see, there's a spring behind it. Sometimes those springs are brass. And then there is your brush. Not much to them. So I'm going to do the other side. Peel this off. Spring and brush. So I'll check the springs. It's not sticking. I'll take these and I'll put these in my pocket because my container is still at the house for the brushes. So that's shred. All this is going to be shred. Clip to clip. Small little piece of wire we cut off of it. So 
All this is your shred for it. Take the copper off if you want. If you don't, you toss that into number two metal, I guess. That's what it's called. Well, yeah, some some yards you might be able to throw that in the copper motor, and some are going to take it as the bigger classification of, of stuff. And then you got your windings. Just cut them off on one side and pull them out the other, and you're good to go. So I hope that helps some of y'all with the smaller motors. They're not that complicated. They're pretty simple. Um, you don't have to do everything that I did. But you can see that's where the uh, brushes were rubbing across those. Leaves a line there. Yep. And uh, some people just unbolt them and pull the two pieces apart to yank the copper out and throw the rest in heavy metal. So, all up to you how you want to do it. So, hope that hope y'all enjoyed. We'll catch you next time.